what I'm going to talk about today is, is that uh, I got a little bit of a nostalgia feeling and I really wanted to use my Leica. So but I really had this uh, feeling this morning that I wanted to shoot with my rangefinder camera and have some fun with it. So I decided to go with a with a real old school lens. It's a screw mount lens, which has a uh, has an adapter on it for bayonet mount. So this is my setup this morning. It's uh, it's a great little unit, and the lens the lens is really really inexpensive. You can find these online for somewhere around under three hundred dollars easily. Got a great opportunity here for some uh, interesting reflections for the for the wind gets to it. This is the cool little uh, reflection that I'm talking about right here. It's kind of neat. What a great place to sit and contemplate things in the morning. Especially when the sun's out like this, it's beautiful. So let's go take some more pictures. A lot of cool things around here. This looks very interesting here. Without the blue bucket, of course. Hey, let me know what shots you like. The color or the black and white? And uh, which shots you like the best? The ones from over at uh, Rockport Harbor or the ones you're about to see from the Gloucester Maritime Center? Just let me know in the comment section below. Well, day two with the uh, Leica MP240 and the 35mm Sumeron from 1958-59, something like that. We're over at the Gloucester Maritime site this morning. I'm going to try and take some great looking photos with this little lens. It's a beauty for sure. And uh, light's beautiful. So, here we go. We have some beautiful light on this bow here of this boat, which is a demonstrator. And uh, these really cool little dinghies in the background here. This is what we're looking at right here. It's kind of neat. Putting it um, ISO 400 for this shot of these dinghies here. And uh, the reason for that is because I'm, ex I'm trying to make it feel like I'm shooting with Tri-X, which is kind of cool if you ask me. I think it's fun. Um, and I'm also shooting in black and white and raw so that I get to see the images afterwards in both cl color and black and white. Now, the uh, exposure here for these images is um, between 8 and 11 somewhere around 125 or 250. I can't remember what, exactly what it is, but boy, it's been fun. These, these are looking great. These, these juxtaposition of these dinghies here is awesome. Well, I got some great compositions going on with this bow here and the other dinghies over here like this. It's outstanding. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about this beautiful little lens here. This is, uh, as you can see here, it's a lights Sumeron, a 3.5, and uh, it's built in 1958-1959, and it's a beautiful little lens. But you can see that there, is, it's actually a screw mount. It's actually a screw mount lens that has a bayonet adapter to it, so you can still use the frame lines on this. But you have to push that little lever over the top there. Or you can use this, what I put on the top here is a, uh, a viewfinder, an optical viewfinder. And it works really, really well. Here we have the Visiflex 2 housing on here. And it works really well. The only problem with it is it's, it's kind of a clunky piece of equipment. 
What a great shot this is against the light. Got these three gig dories lined up. It's pretty cool. And then I was heading out, I found this wonderful old red barn. Beautiful shot in color. Well, this has been a great little trip over to the uh, Gloucester Maritime Heritage Center. It's uh, got a lot of great things over here. We've got gig rowing dories. We have the uh, Coast Guard next door, which um, they tend to make some noise in the morning. So if you hear some interesting uh, <laughs> loudspeakers, that's them. So anyway, uh, I've got some, got some really nice shots over here at the Maritime Center this morning. Uh, day two, shooting with the, the Leica MP240 and the E-Lights Sumeron F35 uh, from 1958, 1959, somewhere in that range. Got some great pictures, I think, with it. But we'll see when I get home. And I'm gonna show you the uh, raw images, which are in color, and the uh, black and white shots, which is what I was trying to do. So if you like this video and you like what I'm doing, please support me and uh, subscribe to this channel. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up in the future and I can't wait to get going this spring. We've got some wonderful things going on, um, but you never know, we might get some snow later on this week. Who knows? We might be able to go out in the snow again. So that's it for this week and we'll catch you next time.